I plunder the seas and you're the Aquaman. We're bound to meet sooner or later. In today's video, we're going to be taking a dive into the new Funko Aquaman movie. This is Aquaman and Black Manta Final Collectibles. Let's get this review started, and by getting it started, of course, the first thing we're going to have to do is figure out how tall these vinyls stand. I'm going to take it right to the very top. I think that's that's probably as best of a place as any, stopping the Ultra Megatron. Sometimes, unfortunately, I, I hate to admit it, the hold button doesn't always work on this tape measure. Needless to say, we pushed forward despite some hiccups with the equipment using here. From the bottom to the top of Aquaman's head, right there. You're looking at 4.1 inches in height. And we switch that over to centimeters. You're looking at 10.5 centimeters for Aquaman. Switching quickly, quickly back to inches. Let's measure to the top of Black Manta's head, right, right there. I think that's as good of a place as any, using the same material as we used before. 3.6 inches. I guess that's about right. 3.6 inches for Black Manta. Switching that to centimeters. Bear with me here, gents. 9.2 centimeters in height. Though the figures don't come with any accessories. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking the Trident. Though they don't come with any accessories that you can add to the figures. How about that? They do, however, come with their included display stands. Um, the stand test, as we like to do when it comes to these vinyl figures... Yeah, seems to stand perfectly fine if you decide you don't want to use the clear display stands. They're here anyways. Funko includes them. I don't know why you would want to omit them. Just throw them away, if you will. They're right here. But they are the same clear stands, same pegs, nothing different between the two. You can even line them up. Yeah, everything's the same size. So depending on which ones you want to use, you can mix and match them. Um, not the most exciting of stands, but at the very least, they do what they need to do. And they peg quite easily and effectively into both Aquaman and Black Manta's little booties right there. I'm letting that all sink in while you guys are... Okay. All right, so we've talked enough about the clear stands. For that one person out there... Thinking I don't spend nearly enough time on clear stands. Hopefully that has satisfied you. And we're just going to move these to the side. Because I don't really technically need them for the rest of this review. Why don't we first have a look at Aquaman. Then we'll have a look at Black Manta. I'm thrilled for the fact. And let me actually just add this little bit of information to this review. Still have not had a chance to watch Aquaman. If you have checked it out, let me know down below what you think of the movie. From what I've heard so far, everybody seems to think it's a pretty decent enough film. I have tweeted, of course, some news, the fact of my own opinions at least, how people seem to jump on board saying it was like the nail in the coffin for the DC Universe film film universe. And uh, that seems to always be the case. There, It seems like early screenings... Reviewers always seem to say that it's a really bad DC film. It's not as good as Marvel, for example. And yet, lo and behold, when a movie comes out, it seems to do pretty good. Aquaman being the best example of that. I'm going to lay off the opinions of that. Anyways, follow me on Twitter if you like. Anyways, in the meantime, let's have a look at Aquaman. Now, in his hand is a rather unfortunately bent trident. You can see it's been kind of warped in the middle here. I suppose a little bit of heating little bit of tender loving care I could probably get that warped back into place but it is slightly a little on the warp side it even seems as if the trident's not even lined up correctly to the handle but uh, at the very least he is sporting a trident so I appreciate that as well as speaking of sporting look at this printing that they've managed to put all on his body here or at least the top orange part of his torso I don't know if you can see it, and I certainly hope the camera can do justice to it. You can see 
that there's a little bit of scaling that they've added to it. Rather very precisely scaled. I like that quite a bit. It does look like there's like a little bit of glue though on his shoulder. I don't know what's going on there, but it looks like there's just this little bit of something on his shoulder. Uh, the coloring on him is very good, very accurate. Love the green, and actually several shades of green. At the naked eye, you may think that it's all one green. Further inspecting it though, you can see that the leggings, as well as the lower pants, are in a matte green. And the boots themselves, as well as the gloves, are in a slightly different shade of green, and completely shinier, a lot shinier than the matte green that's here. Coloring on him is really good. We've spent very little to no attention to his face. Let's have a look at that right now. He's got the little trademark scar there in his eyebrow area. And uh, I do like that they've added a little bit of airbrushing there on the lower portion. I like the little bottom areas of his hairs have this nice little gold, almost blonde uh, airbrushing that they've done right here. All blonde here, and as you can see, transitions very nicely into the rest of his brown. His hair is almost kind of like a medium shade of brown and his beard is slightly darker than that. Some, someone has an angry look on his face. I certainly don't blame him. He is a fantastic looking figure though. I don't think we ever got ourselves Justice League vinyls, but we did get a Batman and Wonder Woman. I don't think we got anyone else after the fact. So I mean, this could really be a good stand-in if you wanted an Aquaman, even though technically he doesn't wear this outfit in Justice League. Of course, now he's got this more traditional, classic Aquaman colors, and he's never looked finer. Posability on this guy, his head rotates all the way around. You can see completely misses the tridents. So there's nothing keeping, nothing kind of hitting the head and stopping it abruptly. You can rotate the head really until the cows come home. This would be rather boring if the rest of the video was solely me just doing this. So I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna put Aquaman down below. Moving our attention over to Black Manta here. He certainly lives up to his name. Primarily, if not all the figure is all black. Now there's various shades of black too, to be exact. Um, he does have like a lighter shade of black here in the lower legs and the arm area, and also a little bit in his neck. His hands also carry over that same matte black, while the rest of his armor, as you can see, is a more jet black. And then there's more black on top of that. The black here in his little gauntlet blade, as well as in his sword, are even a darker shade still. Not sure if hopefully you can see it. If not, let me draw your attention right there, right there, right where my finger is pointing. You can see that he's got a little bit of like abdomen scaling there as well. Black Manta has always been one of my favorite of the DC villains. And so far from what I've seen of it, they've done a real service of him in the new Aquaman movie. Can't wait to see it. As for the miniature version of him, he certainly lives up to how Aquaman's nemesis would look. Big, giant, domed helmet. Big, large, bug-like eyes. Uh, done here very nicely in red, I also might add. The helmet stays relatively matte. And unfortunately, through that, you can see kind of how the head's been glued in place. The lower half is consistent with some of the other vinyl figures. The, the neck area and then this bottom area of the head. And I'm guessing, again, they just take the new sculpted head, plank it on top, plant it on top, and then they probably just glue it in place. It's a shame, though, that the glue is so noticeable because if not for that, I'd actually be even inclined to take a little bit of black matte paint. See if I can go in there and just sort of touch the, that up. I guess if you look at it straight on, it's not so bad. If you tilt it slightly, ooh, yeah, that looks a whole bunch of yuck happening right there. Just don't like how it's got that very noticeably white. If it was really any other color but black, any lighter shade of than black, of course, you wouldn't see that as much. Unfortunately, though, it stands out like a sore thumb. That makes me sad. Posability on this guy. His head rotates, again, all the way around. Exactly the same here as Aquaman. And that's really all you, you get from the vinyl figures. I still personally think that these are the best things currently that Funko are producing sporadically we may get a good lineup of mystery minis um, but still like those mystery minis are blind boxes and few and far between they come out so frequently 
you probably don't see very many on this channel because I'm always sort of more specific now with the ones that I want to pick up. If I pick up anything and everything that Funko's releasing from the Mystery Mini lineup, um, I, it would be a very expensive endeavor here for me to review everything on this channel. Uh, the good thing about the vinyls, for example, contrast to the my popular opinion of what pops are, I think pops are... I think pops personally are outdated. I don't think anybody... There are still people that collect them, but I think that's sort of a collection trend that is starting to decrease. I think, personally speaking, uh, the real fascination with Funko right now, at least for me, is the Funko vinyls. You're, you're getting different figures. None of the figures look like they're using the same molds. They're all unique to one another, and they all have sort of a cartoony look to them. Aquaman looks quite good, as well as Black Manta, and uh, I'll definitely be putting those on display with the rest of my DC-themed vinyl figures. I picked up this set of vinyls, by the way, at my local comic book store, and if somebody was wanting to know the specific price, I can tell you, I peeled the sticker off just prior to this review. What I paid for the vinyl set here is $19.99, which works out to be about $10 each vinyl figure. I think that's fairly reasonable considering what you pay for a regular pop vinyl figure that Funko continues to churn out at nausea, if you ask me. Still, I love the vinyls. Every, probably you have gathered that already by the sheer number of vinyl reviews that I've done on this channel. Vinyls are sort of the thing that, it's not specific to necessarily the character. If I love the film, I usually have been picking up any of the vinyls as they're coming out. There's very few that I've really passed on altogether. Aquaman and Black Manta look really quite good here as vinyl figures. And even though I haven't necessarily seen the movie in which the characters are based from, rest assured I will be going to the movie theater very, very soon and checking out Aquaman. If you guys, by the way, have seen the film, let me know down below what you thought of it. Do you think it is one of the best, if not the best, DC Universe film? That seems to be the consistent trend that I'm reading on social media. Yes, I do check out things on social media. People seem to quite love Aquaman, and so far they've said it is the best DC film. But have you seen the film? Let me know down below if that is a true statement or not. In the meantime, go if you guys are interested in picking these ones up for yourself. Good news is that the Funko Aquaman movie... Aquaman and Black Manta vinyls are now available in comic book stores for the price point I just stated, which $19.99 will get you both of these figures. That's not 100% true because, of course, there's always the lovely tax that you have to add to that as well. But $19.99 is the going rate when you take it off the shelf. Make sure as well, if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button down below. You fancy more Funko vinyl reviews? Well, did you know there's a whole playlist just for them? I've covered a whole ton of different vinyls, and if you wanted to check out more videos like this, stay tuned, because we're going to be having a look at some other future vinyl figures, uh, vinyl collectibles in some future videos. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys, as you always do. And let me know, again, down below what you think of Aquaman. I'll see you guys next time.